Mina, and I'm a visual artist, and I teach Islamic geometric patterns and arabesque art. Today's lesson is going to be uh, geometric patterns, and we are going to use an isometric grid to draw geometric patterns. You can download an isometric grid from my website at aminahureishi.com. Under workshops, under resources, you'll find this template that you can download and use to do this lesson. So here is an isometric grid. And an isometric grid is basically a grid of equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangles are triangles that have three equal sides. So we're going to start off with drawing a pattern that looks something like this with stars and hexagons. So using this isometric grid here, I'm just, I'm just, in the corner here, I'm just going to start by showing the different shapes that you can get from here. So you have the very basic shape, which is an equilateral triangle. You can also draw a six-pointed star. So that's one triangle here. And in total, this is 12 triangles. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And this gives you a nice six-pointed star. Another shape that you can draw is a hexagon. In the hexagon, you have these six equilateral triangles. One thing you'll notice about these shapes is they all have um, multiples of three. So a triangle has three sides. This star has six points, which is a multiple of three, and it has 12 sides, which is also a multiple of three. This hexagon has six sides, which is also a multiple of three. And that's because we're using a grid of triangles, and triangles have three sides. So let's start with our pattern. We're going to start in the center of the page, and we're going to start with the six-pointed star. I'm going to start over here, and that's where I'm going to start my star. And I'm just going to mark this down here. And I recommend that you use a ruler so that you get nice straight lines. We're going to start by drawing our six-pointed star. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some space around the star and I'm going to draw hexagons. So I'm going to, the tip of the star, I'm going to skip one space and that point is going to be where my hexagon starts. And that point, that point, that point, and that point. We have the star with six hexagons, and now I'm gonna draw six more stars. And these stars are gonna start at these points. I'm gonna mark out where the bottom of the star goes. The bottom of the star it goes one triangle, two, three, and four. So you can put a mark there. You can do that for all six stars. This one will go this way, so it's one triangle, two, three, time. Make sure your nice lines are nice and clean.
So now we have six stars, one in the middle, and six hexagons. So we have these spaced out with about one triangle width in between each shape. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to turn this into this pattern here. So this pattern, if you look at it, you have the star in the center, you have six stars on the outside, and then you have these hexagons. There's some additional hexagons here that we'll draw in. And if you look at this pattern, what's really interesting is that there's a weave around it. So this acts sort of as a border around each shape, and then you can weave that border. So it goes under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. So it creates sort of a, a basket effect, like you're weaving a basket. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. This may seem a little bit daunting at first, but it's actually quite simple. So over here, I've added six additional hexagons over here in between the stars. And now we're gonna work on our weave. So let's start at the tip of this star here. And let's say that this first line is gonna go over. Now we're gonna start at this point. So we look at what was happening before. This part came from under. So over here, it's gonna go over. So we're gonna connect the lines this way. And one way to check if you've been doing it right is that when you get back to the first point, it still follows that same rule. So it's still going over, under, this one's over. So it's working well over here. If you find a spot that you're going over and then over again, then that means somewhere along the lines you made a bit of a mistake and you might have to backtrack and find where that mistake is and fix it. So now that I've finished weaving my pattern, we can color it in in a nice way to create some sort of shading. So we have our stars and this is the border that's, that you weave. So where the lines go over and under, you can create a shadow. So this line is going over, so you can create a shadow underneath it. And the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna color it in lightly, sort of using this across hatching method. And I'm gonna create a shadow. So it, it creates that visual effect that this line is underneath this line. And we're gonna do that for every part that went under. Once you have all of this cross hashing, hashing done, you can also even just go in with a bit of another color and go over just a little bit. It adds another little dimension. I'm just going to do it closer to the center so it sort of becomes lighter as it comes out. And there we have it. We have a beautiful geometric pattern with these stars and hexagons, and we created a weave out of the border. It looks like a basket. And just like this pattern, there are many other patterns that you can create using the same isometric grid, such as this pattern. Over here, we have the same three shapes. We have a star, hexagon, and triangle. This pattern here, we have star, hexagon, and we have this other interesting shape here. Sort of this L shape that goes around the star. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you got a chance to try this out. You can head over to my website to find the template that you can print out. You can print out, print out multiple copies and make multiple different patterns. My name is Amina and I hope you enjoyed this. 
and I hope you get the chance to draw this. Thank you. Thank you.